Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Today I want to talk to you about something interesting. Um, uh, I'm top of this message. Uh, it's called uh, "People." The reality of people are like a roller coaster, or more like a theme park. You know, you know, I'm a or a fair or something. But people are like roller coasters. Here's the thing about, you know, that people don't realize, you know, when you go to a fair or you go to a theme park, automatically you see the, you know, uh, the Ferris wheel, you know, spinning around and spinning around and spinning around. And you see the, you know, all kind of, you know, rides that go up and down or, you know, go and you see all kind of rides going here and going there and doing this and doing that. And it's like, you know, you see where, where they going. You see the velocity of how fast it's going or how slow it's going. You see what, you know, the dynamics of, how, you know, how it goes. And it's like. When you go on, because I, I, I'm a fan of going on, you know, rides and stuff like that, you know, and I and I, I like going on rides. I like the rush. I like that rush, you know, of, in, of excitement, of, you know, heat. You know, I love that rush, you know. Uh, but here's the thing. Um, when you, uh, the thing is, we look at people like, you know, um, like we're we like people are strange we you know or or oh different means strange you know what i'm saying you know and the thing is you know i tell people you know you're not supposed to look at people strange you're supposed to look at people different and strange and different i'm going to show you there's a difference between strange and different See, if someone is strange to you, that means that person is not familiar to you. That means you is unknown, kind of unknown of what kind of person that person is. It's, they're doing things that you didn't know a person can do. You know what I'm saying? They thought you thought a person was like this, but they like that. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, you think, um, well, oh, because their person is like this. This person is strange to me. That means unknown to me of what kind of person that person is. But the thing is, you know, um, really, there's no such thing as a strange person. It's not supposed to be a such thing as a strange person. When you about understanding who people are, when you start understanding people, there no, shouldn't be no such thing as a strange person. Because the thing is... You know, as King Solomon says, there's nothing new under the sun. You know, there's people that are got negative. I got to show they're negative. The people that has negative in them and has positive in them. It's just that certain people might, you know, operate more in their negative nature than their positive nature than another person. And another person that could be operating more in their positive nature than their negative nature, but it doesn't mean they don't have negativity inside of them. That understanding should let you know that, you know, you should, under, you should if something happened within that relationship or within you hanging around or socializing with that person, you know what I'm saying, happened can be, you know, Different, you know, that's different. This person did this, you know, that you thought this person will do this, but this person's doing this. That's supposed to look different because it, the difference of understanding what really, because in when you're in a relationship, the whole agenda is understanding what kind of person that person is. You know what I'm saying? It's not, oh, to see if you might like this person, you know, it's not supposed to be, be. Something like see if I like this person or not like this person. No, there's going to be things that you're not going to like about people. And there's going to be things that you like about people. That's what you got people. But that's what God taught me about love. That first you got to like people and understand of how people are like. You know what I'm saying? How they're like. That's what really like means. Not It doesn't mean, oh, I like this 
And because I like this, I want this person, I want to be around this person, but don't do something that I don't like and I don't want to be around you. You know what I'm saying? Kind of, that's not supposed to be the idea of looking at it. That person said, oh, you're doing something different. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, the thing is, I'm so, but it depends on what the act is. I will either distance myself away from you when you act this way because I'm not about this way. Yeah. Um, and, you know, but if you about, you know, about this, then I'm cool with you. You know what we call it? Cool with you. You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing. People are like, like I say, roller coaster rides. They they just, you know, you, but guess what? Here's what you're supposed to be on this tip. That you see the people, you see the whipping and, oh, see, you should, if you start being around certain people, you should know what to expect out of them. You should have a sense of expecting certain things out of this person. Certain people are going here and they're going here and this going here and this going here and this going, or it's going there, there, there. You have a, 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 something you should expect from a person, you know, and, 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 and being around that person. You know what I'm saying? You should expect this person to say certain things or do certain things. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, it shouldn't be like, you know, like, oh, who are you? You know what I'm saying? It should be like, uh-oh, there goes the different thing that they're doing that that probably is negative that I might not like that, you know, that I'm going to really address that reality to this because that's what people are supposed to do. They're supposed to address this, you know, that, look, I don't like, you know, you doing that kind of stuff. You know, I'm just going, but, you know, I want to be your friend, but I don't like you doing this negative activity if it's negative. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not going to dig that. You know what I'm saying? That is something that is based upon their characteristic, a bad characteristic. Now, if you are a kind of person that, <coughs> you know, you know, that is loud, you know, louder or, or, or quieter, you know, you know, that's part of more like your personality. You know what I'm saying? And, and the thing is, there are certain things that you should, you know, uh, uh, address the people because nobody don't know how to really address to people. Address doesn't mean telling them what to do. No, it means that you know I want you to. It's, it's really like you know uh, the ideal of address, like your mailing address. It's kind of like you writing a letter to them to making a statement concerning about what kind of person that they are. That you know you need to learn how to address certain people. To let them know that when you be like this, you know what I'm saying, this, I don't really like that, you know, because of this. Be, it has to have a legitimate reason, now. you know, to to communicate with people. Because, look, when you get on the roller coaster ride, you should already know that if it's a Ferris wheel, it's going all the way around and around and around. And you know how people love the round and round games. Yes, you should know what ride you're getting on. You should know it's going zoom, zoom. You know this person loves to go up and down and up and down and uh, in their uh, attitudes and how they carry themselves in situations. You should be on aware. You should be aware that a maturity is about being aware of what kind of people around you. And the thing is, and, and learning how to be mature and aware about the kind of people will help you to befriend people that's unfriendable. You know what I'm saying? That you can come, see, you can may not like that person doing this, but you can talk about things that is on a, you know, good positive note. You know what I'm saying? Even though they're doing these negative things, you can come find a way to come in agreement on something positive that can, you know, benefit the both of you and and keep a good relationship with this person in spite of what the other person is doing. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? When you get on the fair, you know, the roller coaster ride, you shouldn't be surprised. You know what goes up? But guess what? You should be prepared and with an understanding of what that kind of person is. And and, and 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 
find a way to enjoy the good, you know, characteristics of that person. And 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 when you because I tell people when you enjoy the characteristics to a person, you will enjoy their personality because there's a personality that people are. People are a person that does things different, that express themselves different. You know what I'm saying? That you need to be about understanding when you're with anybody, with anybody. There is a personality that identifies that kind of person concerning their DNA type. That they're the type of person that like this and don't like that. You know what I'm saying? There's there's a type of people, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, we need to stop, you know, thinking that, you know, oh, because this person is like this, they're like, they, they got these bad characteristics, you know, and then judgment, the wrong judgment established. That judgment that, you know, you start, you know, uh, creating a stereotype, you know what I'm saying? That wrong judgment start developing when you do that. But you need to understand that people are not so much, not so much bad than you think they are. It's just you just will not be, you don't learn the discipline of God's love because, you know, if you're supposed to recognize, Jesus said if you recognize them, you know, then my disciple is their love towards one another. Then say love towards people that you like. Then <laughs> it says the love towards one another. That means, remember, love your enemies? <laughs> yeah. Bless those that, yeah. Oh, yeah. Matthews 4, Matthews 5 and 4 and 4. Remember? Yes. And that dynamic, with that dynamic, you will learn that, you know, when you with certain people, you know what to expect out of them. But you know, as if the love of God is in you, to say encouraging words to help them to become a better person concerning their characteristics. You know what I'm saying? To encourage good characteristics that to grow out of them and, underst and let them understand that, you know, only through Christ you can establish good characteristics. And, you know, I learned that I learned that Jesus Christ is all about coming to this world to bring us good characteristics. That's the number one agenda, really, of Jesus Christ being the first group. You know what I'm saying? To, you know, if you read 1 Corinthians uh, uh, 5, 15 and 23, you know, it, it's, it's talking about in the, you know, when, after, near Jesus coming that it's going to come a time that he's going to start be about Christ the first fruits. About his characteristics, his love, joy, peace, gentleness, long suffering, meekness, temperance, faith, is what you know is going to put the people in order according to what he desires. You know what I'm saying? That we need to be about you know uh, those characteristics in spite of the roller coaster ride of what kind of people are these days. Shouldn't shock us. You know what I'm saying? Shouldn't shock us that people. Or saying something negative. It, it shouldn't shock people. Uh, people doing something negative. I mean, neg like I say, negativity is in everybody. You know what I'm saying? But we should be aware of the kind of condition people are in. to, With the understanding that they need to under the light of Jesus Christ with inside them. To help them to perform in the things of righteousness and better. And not so much in wickedness better. You know? Because wickedness... Performing better leads to bitter. It does. All right, that's the message. I hope you understand that people are like a roller coaster ride. They will go here, they will go there, but God will give you the, love, will give you the ability to be patient and kind with you know them, and you be an example to them to help them have a desire to want the light, want what you got. You know what I'm saying? That's what really being a true Christian is all about, letting your light shine in the midst of darkness. You know what I'm saying? It's not about you, you know, just you being right. It's about everybody being right, you know, and having the light of Christ inside them, the hope of glory. All right. That's the message. I hope it bless your heart, and I hope you, you know, become a witness of the light, as John says in 1 John. All right. To God be the glory here and forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.